Hello. <coughs> Hello, my name is Laura. I review popular internet recipes to see if they're actually any good and if they can be achieved by us mere non-chefs. Today is a special day because today we are making every single meal Studio Ghibli. 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 Whatever you pronounce it like. Breakfast, lunch, dinner and dessert are all going to be themed off popular Studio Ghibli movies. And honestly, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think this is going to be super fun. We have a really big day ahead of us. So let's not waste any more time. But before we get started, all of my social medias, if you ever want to show more support. If you enjoy food videos, review videos and so on, being chaotic, idiotic and silly at times, please consider subscribing. Plus, all the recipes that I will be using today will be listed in the description box if you ever want to make them at home yourself. I haven't eaten yet. I'm so hungry. Let's get breakfast started. Doing what? We are beginning this Ghibli journey. How's moving castle bacon and eggs where the bacon is super thick and the eggs look super good. Yeah. So we're going to try and make that. Okay. So yes, we are using my famous wok. I was going to use a smaller fry pan for the aesthetic, you know, but I also want to be able to take my food out of the pan. And as my nonstick has disappeared out of those. So let's just do it this way. <laughs> okay, so we've got two eggs and two bacon. I tried to find like the thickest bacon I could. It looks pretty thick. I mean, it's not like as thick as cartoon standards. Let's put a little bit of butter in. I'm gonna cook the bacon first and then pop the little eggies on the side. Ooh, yum. Is it the bacon time? Oh no, it's got a hole in it. Oh, this, this bacon's quite large. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So I think our bacon has been bacon fried. It's nice and cooked. So now I'm gonna add the eggs. And I reduced it to medium heat. I'm doing good camera. Ah! Okay, so let's add the eggs. Ugh. Oh no, calcifer. All right, the eggs be a cooking. Finished, ha ha, delicious. Serve it up. Oh, so good. I think on Howl's Moving Castle as well, they have some bread. I have some bread here. Okay, so egg test, stab. Hell yeah. Yum, yum. How about this one? Oh, that one's seen better days. Oh, <laughs> just take out the whole yolk. Okay friends, so now we get to move on to lunch time. What are we having for lunch? We are having the ramen from Ponyo. Ponyo, Ponyo. Arguably, this is the easiest recipe that we're gonna do today. Good to balance it out a little bit. Not that we've had too much of a challenge as of yet. Instant ramen that I'll be using today, it's called Tokyo Shoyu Nissin Ramen. Mm. Mm -hmm. This stuff is super yum. So to begin with, what are we serving with the ramen? So famously on Ponyo, there's two slices of ham and half of a boiled egg with some spring onion. With the eggs, I, I always cook more than one egg at a time, so excuse why there's three in there. I put it in cold water and once the water starts boiling, I set a timer for four minutes and then I took them out and put them into cold water so that they didn't keep cooking. And then I found two two slices of ham and I chopped up some lovely green onion as well. So let's get our ramen a cooking. So I got some water here boiling. Let's put in our ramen and that cooks for about four minutes. Okay, so now that our ramen is ready, we get to add all of these things. This one's called special garnish. Oh, I think I was actually meant to cook that one in it. Oh well, uh, seasoning. This one has no name, but this is like an oil. And we'll give it a little mix. All right, so now we're gonna pour in a rum yum 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 yum. All right, so then I'm gonna put the lid on. All right, so close your eyes. Go on, close your eyes. And open them. Dinner time. 
I'm just popping in here really quick because at this small section, I didn't realize that my mic wasn't turned on. This is the part where we're making herring pot pie from Kiki's delivery service. And this is the recipe that I was the most looking forward to because it sounded really delicious. We've got some pumpkin at the bottom with lots of butter, some fish, some bechamel sauce, and some pastry on top. And it sounded super delicious and I was super excited to get cooking. And so with that, the first thing that we're gonna do is get a big bowl of pumpkin, but it was, I chopped up the whole thing and we're gonna pop it into the microwave for about one minute to soften it. In the meantime, let's grease our little casserole dish. Delicious. Blah, 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 blah. I think mine will need longer than a minute. Maybe another two minutes. <laughs> that was pretty rock solid. Oh my lord. This is still a solid rock. It doesn't take a minute. It might take more. Okay, so I finally got the pumpkin to cook. And honestly, it takes a long time. It doesn't take a minute. If you make this, like, save yourself the hassle and just boil it or something or steam it for 10 minutes. Don't, don't bother with the microwave. So now we get the joyous task of removing the skins. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Next, we add some butter and we mash. Ha! Ah, butter! Oh no! We're gonna add it to our baking dish, our casserole dish. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's fry up some onions. Okay, let's put this on medium. So for this part, she caramelizes the onion, but I'm not gonna caramelize the onion and I'll tell you why. The date was sometime winter 2019. I was blessed from my child with a thing called a rotavirus. Terrible thing, a plague among plagues. And before I realized I had this stomach virus, I ate <laughs> French onion soup. That's all the information I'm gonna give you. Now I cannot really stomach <laughs> caramelized onion. Took me long enough to eat a bloody onion again. <laughs> but once these are cooked, we just are gonna pop them on top of our little dish. Now we're cooking our fish. Really hope it doesn't stick to the bottom because it, it does that. Oh, these fishes are bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh well. Oh no, it's already stuck. Oh well. Okay, now I'm gonna soften <laughs> my carrot and my peas. So this again said to soften in the microwave, but after the pumpkin, I don't, I don't trust that this will be a quick job, especially with these carrots involved. So let's steam them in a little bit of water. Ugh. Laura the aggressor, fight me, fish. Oh my Lord. How are you cooking, good looking salt? Pepper, 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 pepper. Some garlic here. And butter. Oh my Jesus. Uh, let's add some milk, I guess. And we let it stew for 10 minutes. Okay, so now that the fish has been stewing for 10 minutes, we're going to remove the fish. Righty ho. Wanna get this milk and put it in a little, little jug. It was surprisingly clean. So this is four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, and some salt and pepper. It's gonna let it melt, you know? And the paste looks all melted. Now we're gonna add in our hot milk, a little at a time. Gonna add our fish back in, and our carrots and our peas, mix together. Yum, yum. Salt and pepper. Put this on top. Whoa, yum. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Meow. Ooh, hopefully I didn't add too much. Now we add cheese. 
You can add as much cheese as you want. Pastry time, my first one. No. And then we tuck it in, oh, like a little uh, pie crust blanket. That looks cute. <laughs> I love it. Egg wash. Oh. I have a real talent for doing the budget version of things. Ding, 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 ding. That was a fun part. Now we get to make the fish. All right, let's see if we can make it as cute. <laughs> I doubt it, but let's try. Okay, so the last thing we have to do now is just put it in the oven. Okay, so now she's going in the oven for, so you preheat at 220, then reduce to 200, and bake it for 15 minutes. And then reduce to 180, and then bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Cooking time! Let us see my pie! <laughs> His eyeballs are like... <laughs> so cute! Glub, glub. Aww, I curled that up so he'd look happy and now he looks sad. And uh, I guess we should just dip him. Ha, ha, ha. Where's the pump? Oh god, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Let's see if this was worth. Oh my god, two and a half hours. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> After I, um, you know, incinerated my mouth. Yeah, that's really yum. Okay, that was worth the two and a half hours. At least it wasn't hard to make. There's just a lot to do. It just took a long time. Mm, I guess we'd better dig into dessert. Okay, so what we're making for dessert today is Siberia cake from the movie The Wind Rises. So Siberia cake consists of two layers of Castella sponge cake with a jelly red bean filling in the center. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna warm up our milk, hot milk. I'm gonna add our butter to the hot milk and melt it. Okay, so flour. The milk butter mixture, some egg yolks. All right, whisk. Hiya! And then mix until thoroughly combined. Then swap out for the egg whites. Whipping the egg whites until they get bubbly. I'm gonna deeply regret doing this by hand. Okay, until it gets bubbly, and then add in cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Kuna Matata. <laughs> anyway, um, but I'm using lemon juice instead. And we beat vigorously until we get a firm peak. Oh, my arm hurts already. <laughs> oh, why didn't I pull out the mixer? Oh my God. My arm hurts. <laughs> Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> All right, never doing that again. We put this in the batter. And the first bit's just to kind of loosen it up, you know, make it all nice and combined. And then add about this much. So we want to fold it together, but we don't want to lose any of our air bubbles, you know what I'm saying? The last bit. Our cake batter is done. So one of the reasons I selected this recipe was because, first of all, it looks the best. I think this is like fairly close to just like one serving size, which is great because I don't want the extent of leftovers we had last week. <laughs> Kick time! I've chosen this loafy kind of looking dish because it looks the most similar to his. Does anyone else have a really rough time with baking paper? Like everyone else's baking paper looks really nice. Mine always looks terrible, but it never sticks to the pot. All right, and let's spread it out. Wonderful. She looks like a thing of beauty. I'm gonna put this in a little bath of hot water. Let's put it into the oven. 
We're gonna bake that in the oven for 30 minutes and then we're going to remove the water bath, cook it for another five minutes at 200 to get the nice golden color. Then we take it out and then we let it cool. Okay, so our cake looks beautiful. It's cooled down and it's ready for the eating. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, but next, so what we're gonna do is uh, chop it in half. Oh, this is gonna be the top layer and the bottom layer of our um, yummy cake, Siberia cake. We've got a cake tin, got cling wrap in it, and I made this handy little um, wall of aluminium foil. First of all, we're gonna put a layer on the bottom. This goes up like this, and then the tin foil divider. Oh. <laughs> goes in the middle. I have some rice. It's like weight. Keeps it in place. 40 grams of water. 5 grams of agar agar. Here, here, agar agar. Okay, I need to get my bean paste. So I apparently need to use all of this. And I don't really want to use all of this. But apparently. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh god. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, so thick. Mix, 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 and then we put it in the microwave. Ew, it's hot. So fun with your friends. We're gonna put some of the bean paste in here. I'm trying to work with this cling film, but it's not easy. Is that enough? I just keep <laughs> adding more. Okay, maybe that's enough. We put the cake on top. The cling film on the outside, over top. We can pop this in the fridge for two hours, but it'll probably be longer for me because we're gonna eat it after dinner. Serving time! All right, friends, so last but not least, let's look at our Siberia cake. Okay, so let's take out our cake. Ooh! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> now we just gotta beautify it, you know? <gasps> Maybe I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's trim her. Make her look fabulous. Cute! <laughs> Let's give it a work. Nom, 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 nom. I really like it. It's really nice. Mmm. It was really yummy. That was like really easy to make too. I've got to add this to my recipe list of delicious recipes for all. So today was something a little different and I had a lot of fun trying. I mean, I ate so much food. I ate way more than I normally do and oh my God. But I had a really good time uh, trying all these recipes and there were so many Studio Ghibli movies um, foods to choose from that I had a really hard time just narrowing it down. So if you guys do want another one sometime in the future, I've got lots of options. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I swear to God, if I have to do any more dishes today, I'm gonna flip out. <laughs> no more dishes, dishes strike. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time doing something different. Next week we'll be back with a normal recipe review. So yeah, bye.